Hello, Whoa. universe. Oh, I love it. Welcome <laughs> to Off the Rails with Tom and Mark, the best comedy podcast in America. I love it. I still got the volume up. Idiot. <laughs> this is going to be Off the Rails. We are live. Coming to you live. Where are we coming yeah. from? Coldwell Banker Home Sale Realty Studios in beautiful downtown Grafton. Yes, All right. Dude. Episode 81. Shit. First ever Screw 81st you, episode. And we're here with the local legend Jeff Krieger and his bomber buddy, Andy Parrott. Hey, Andy. How's it going? Well, thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming on. We just got that. So can't wait till some of the boys comment. Oh, they'll be out there. <laughs> they'll be out there. Let's... uh. <laughs> Let's talk about some announcements real quick. Uh, check out the new lights. What do you guys think? Pretty Fucking bright. Bright. Bright as hell. I like it. Professional. Yeah, Maybe it looks legit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uncle Tom hit it on March Madness this year, so I spent all of that money right away on new lights. Uh, this year, we're gearing up for Summerfest. It's going to be bigger than ever, so we're going to have some big interviews coming up for Summerfest. We have plenty of tickets to give away, so... We're not sure how we want to do it. If you got any suggestions, it was a blast last year. Yeah, we'll probably be doing summer. We'll probably be there, but we have an in with Summerfest because yeah. a lot of the big interviews you can't get in contact with just no, normal well, you, public. You did yeah. get turned down by Three Doors Down, so well they still <laughs> heard from me. They're like, "Who? <laughs> Who are you?" <laughs> no, no, no. We're good. No. Hey, who? <laughs> Fuck Three Doors <laughs> Down. <laughs> uh, happy 420 Day. You guys doing anything special for 420? Uh, I stopped over at my buddy's house, Joe Mooney's, this morning, and I helped him build a jungle gym and shit for his kids. So, all right, that was not exciting at all. I'm glad no. I had to go work. Yeah, my- and I did not do anything special. All right. <laughs> so, you know. Molly did. Uh, she picked up some CBD stuff today. Where did you pick that up at? Midwest. Vapor. Okay, Midwest Vapor Pro. Um, In Jackson. Midwest okay. Paper Pro. They had a buy one, get one 50% sure. off today, so I had to. So speaking of that, we're going to have Mike Landek. Landek and Rachel Cartwright, or uh, Rachel, his fiance, on, and they are... What is their the name of their... Uh, I will look it up again. Okay. Don't um, worry about that. I'll hit yeah, the we'll tease hit that tape. Let's do this this <laughs> oh, <yeah>. week. <laughs> Sorry, Tom's cutting me off already. Fuck All her. right. <laughs> this week, I had to search far and wide to stay away from politics you know what's going on. So, however, Wisconsin stepped up and gave us a karate oh. mom, mom with a naked son and a shoplifting dog at Walmart. What? But the Florida man <laughs> stepped up and got yeah. killed by a bird. Carl's Jr. is serving CBD burgers. Jeff's beard could destroy the world. <laughs> AMC says you can only see the movie if you're this far on the spectrum. Uh, Wait, what spectrum is that? The spectrum. The spectrum? Yep. Uh, pig brains are brought back to life. Uh, remember, Frankenstein was the scientist, not the monster. And finally, we are... Uh, Gronk, right before retiring, uh, dented the Super Bowl trophy. Nice. <laughs> hey, he laid down a sweet bunt for there that. There we go. <laughs> Time to pay some bills. Look at this. Before we get Hi, into it. I'm Jenny Shulka, Director of Human Resources at a family-owned and international company, Coldwell Banker Home Sale Realty. With three offices in southeastern Wisconsin and some of the top agents in the industry, we are here to serve you in all of your real estate needs, whether you are buying or selling. If you are interested in a career in real estate, we offer an in-depth training program to make you successful. Call us at 414-443-2030 or email Roy at cbhsr.com. Jeff is like blown I'm away right now. I'm fucking mind blown right now. We're like a, <laughs> like a legit podcast now. We have fucking, Holy shit, yeah. We have yeah, advertisements yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, chaos at Walmart. Uh, Jeff, I didn't know your ma knew karate, first of all, here. Uh, she learned early. That is not my mother, but that's... So this was in Eau Claire. Eau Claire? Eau Claire. Like the donut? Eau Claire, Wisconsin. The donut? So Lisa oh, it's pastry. Smith, it's pastry. Yeah. 46, and her dog, Bo, and 26-year-old son, Benny Van. <laughs> that's... Oh, oh, that's his name? Yeah. So they came in with the dog, Unleashed. Fucking Morris is watching. Look at that. And the dog started running <laughs> all over the Morris. place and started shoplifting stuff. How does a dog shoplift shit? Um, it puts it in its mouth and leaves the store with it. <laughs> just runs out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just first of all, those meth heads that 
uh, go back to that picture once. Yeah, right there. Totally look like they do meth. Okay. I would not put it past them. Uh, I'm not so judging, the cops I'm came, and in the in the parking lot, the mother started working on her karate moves and kicking a cop car. I hope someone played everybody was kung fu fighting. Ooh, I don't <laughs> like, have that one on my soundboard. Like right away, it just clicks on. Like, hang on. I so, get this. Uh, the son went into the store and thought it would be okay to take off all of his clothes and put on new clothes to walk out with. I mean, that seems like a legit thing. That's what you buy clothes for. To wear? Yeah. To wear, right. To wear. Yeah. But he thought nobody would notice that if he just... <laughs> <laughs> no one noticed. If I take my clothes off, put on new clothes, I can walk out and nobody's going to... A totally different guy. Exactly. <laughs> just a totally, totally new guy. Never saw him before. I don't know how they got the dog trained to shoplift. To, to shoplift? Yeah. Bo was caught by officers in the store. He was not charged. The dog wasn't charged? The dog was not charged. Oh, I thank got, God. I got what he was stealing here, too. Wasn't it pancake batter or something? Pancake batter. Yeah, yeah. you're up on the stories. Yeah. You've read this one? Yeah. I saw it. It was all over. <laughs> okay. News. It was all over. Yeah, so. What fucking news do you guys watch? Jesus. We I'm, gotta get. I'm really deep in the Eau Claire news. <laughs> like all the local stuff when it happens. Oh, Andy, yeah. you're a you're a bomber player with uh with Jeff too, right? Yes. Yeah. So how do how the bomber season go? Uh, it went well. We yeah. had, it came up a little short in the tournament, but I mean, for the most part, we did pretty well. Okay, that wasn't bad. Tied for first for the regular season. Yeah, and then shit the bed in the yeah. semifinals. Mm. So. Had a bad year though. Oh, that's all right. Great fans, great, uh, great trip up to Mosani. That's where your tournament was. Yeah. yeah. Stopped at a brewery. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, congratulations for finishing first on the regular season. It's a good time. We had Johnny B in here, but yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, John. I didn't tell you that Johnny B was on here. I saw. It. So. Oh, did you? All yeah. right, check All right. this out. A Florida man was killed by the world's most dangerous bird. Have you uh, ever seen anything about these birds? Is it an ostrich? No, or... it's a cassowary. What the fuck is a cass? What? Yeah. Okay, so police identified the man as 75 year old Marvin Hayhos, and the bird attacked him, injuring him, and. He was transported to the hospital where he later died. So these birds, you can kind of see a picture up there. They're six feet tall, 200 pounds, and have four-inch razor claws like a raptor. So kind of like an ostrich? They're, they're related to ostriches and emus. They can run over 30 miles an hour. And I watched uh, an episode of The Crocodile Hunter where he warns that these Crikey. birds these birds will try to fuck you. <laughs> that's, that is the like worst thing I think that could happen to you when you're out there just hanging out. Well, you know how much a birds trying to or how you. big a bird's got to be if they're 200 pounds with hollow bones and feathers. Yeah, that's a good point. Because I have a pretty good sized parrot, and does he try to fuck you? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> he's 75 grams. You can uh, <laughs> knock that away. I don't need to me to him. My question is. <laughs> If He'll these things are that dangerous, why did they let a 75-year-old man... He got a hold of it and raised it on his own in captivity. It was his was personal he, bird oh trying to find God. It. No, they don't know what happened. It's, it just turned on him? Uh, his fiance claims that he died doing what he loved. <laughs> the bird? <laughs> Being the, the bird. to death by a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> So, Getting fucking bird. Zoo- Where was that at again? This was in Florida. We're going to add a new segment just called Florida Man. Just Florida, Florida Man? <laughs> yeah. Just called Florida There's some Man. odd shit that happens down there, not going to lie. Yeah. Well, the zookeepers, they, the zoos that actually have these birds, they don't even enter where the birds are. They gate off where they put the birds' food. They come in and feed them, and then they leave and remove the gate. They don't even dare go near these birds. Oh, the local legend is showing off his new... My personal flask. local personal legend flask. flask. Who are we pumping for that flask? Um, that would be the etching company. I got to look up their name again. Wow, thanks I'm... for being prepared. <laughs> well, there. you know what? I'm never here, Andy. Hang out of that. Look at that. Tell gotcha. me how that feels. Solid. Uh, yeah, actually, just... I mean, I feel like there might be a leak in here. You should probably check it. And this is 
This is how this podcast goes wow. sometimes. When you guys are great. No, we anyway. suck right now. Sorry, Tom. That's okay. You guys will get a hang of it. Uh, Carl's Jr. You guys want to... Do you know where Carl's Jr. is around? I... I think they're... they're ha- aren't they Hardee's up here? Yeah, that, that's what they are. Okay. Well, because... I mean, same place, right? Yeah. That's, Carl's, uh, Carl's Jr. Hardee's. They're the same... I think they have the... They're the same franchise, but right. they are branded differently depending on your location. Why is that? Man, because, I don't get paid that. Because Carl's <laughs> Jr. is testing out a new cannabis burger. Ooh. Stay at the forefront of the CBD trend. Which is smart, but... It's I, only on 420. They're doing a one-day cannabis burger to try that's it That's it? How, where, where? Like, how... This is out west. This is Denver, Colorado. Colorado. Yep. Uh, on 420, the burger features a sauce infused with CBD or... Well, the CBD stuff isn't what isn't the um, what gets you high. Basically, the CBD stuff is yeah. just the the CBD part of it, right? Yeah. Is the, we had a lady on that told us all about CBD. <laughs> but, I don't remember everything. But Jeff is a professional. No, I'm not. I just know people. <laughs> I just know stuff. So Molly, how do you get your CBD? How do you take it? Bud, smoke, vape, gummy, I've burger. Tr- I've never tried a burger. CBD or the THC? What no, you want? CBD. Okay. Molly, just, just, Molly gets her CBD. I, I, just I've gotten the vaporizer stuff. I've gotten the, the tinctures. I've gotten the, the, the CBD bud. It's Molly so has some CBD bud that I'm afraid to drive with her with. Really? It's in a glass container. It looks just... And smells. Well, it's Yeah. It looks just like... I don't know how cops... It, how would it, cops tell that apart from real stuff without giving you a ticket immediately and then you having to bite a, it? Can a, they road test it? No, I don't. Th- I think they have to send. I don't it think in. so. Yeah. I think that's but probably not here. That's a question for a future guest that we got coming on. Write okay. that one down. Sure. Yeah. Remember that, <laughs> Molly. Remember that. Everyone okay. needs a Molly. I mean, if they do a drug test on me after, if anybody watching knows, but <laughs> like, well, I mean, you, I can... you'd have to be possession, and I'm sure yeah, if know, whatever glass pipes are. is now paraphernalia, if you use them with, CDs. I think they're. Yeah. I, 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 I wonder if they're getting more lax on those those rules and stuff like I mean, that since it's getting legalized more and more okay how easy is it for a guy who's carrying around real marijuana to just buy uh, a the glass jar that, a glass says, jar that says it's cbd <laughs> and keep it in there probably pretty easy yeah yeah, yeah. so they would have to test every individual yeah. Yeah, i think it's getting over. more and more decriminalized and as you go which okay. i mean it is what it is it's eventually i got a feeling eventually it'll go nationwide um, and federal, maybe, but okay, you know, it's still going to be up to businesses and stuff like that. Now, does uh, again, this will be a question for when we have a later guest, but the CBD stuff, how that affects uh, work and everything like that, I don't believe it does. No, but even when it is legal, your work could say no marijuana, R- right? And yes. I don't know how that affects. Well, they get the marijuana part, but how does that affect with the CBD? Because that's different. Yeah, well, they test for THC. Not CBD. Right, and the CBD should be is different, so it's it's got to be under a certain right like THC level. Right. So now it's just the sauce. Can it's you, just the sauce. So you could in what kind of sauce is it? Like it a looks, barbecue sauce? Is I don't it, know. It looks like that old Arby's Big Montana red sauce that they the got bottom. rid of. Is that, Fucking love that. Is sauce. that like fried onions or is that chicken? It looks like I don't know. Is that like Swiss? It's like, like two burger patties and there's something else underneath. Two it looks good. good. <laughs> you both, did you guys eat today? Fuck. Yeah. No, we're hungry. <laughs> hungry as shit. You kept pushing back the podcast and we're like, we oh, some fuck. Steak oh, you guys are on my lunch, time. But, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Hey, universe. check it out. The head chief in charge of this is named Owen Klein, just like me. Hey, nice. Your name's Owen? Tom? Yeah, there we go. Tom <laughs> Owen. Tom Owen. So they just said, let's give it a try. So this could be a burger that goes on the menu permanently, depending how it goes today. Still curious the difference between mm-hmm. Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. Uh, Anybody knows that? Same thing. I know it's the same thing. I'll but figure just, it out. You guys keep talking. Uh, <laughs> You're going <laughs> to leave throw, it yeah, throws us on the spot. You guys just talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to look this up. Did you did you just Google difference between? Is it a regional? thing? How else would you look it up? Yeah, yeah I, <laughs> like I'm the. Did you just Google what's the difference? Uh they're completely different chains. They have the same oh. parent company, CKE Restaurants. And okay, they, even though they might be similar, loyalty devotees of Carl Jr. will tell you there's no comparison between the two. 
You mean they don't Ooh, get their meat from the same <laughs> fucking place? I'm guessing. Whoa! Oh. They got that the a, same was that a logo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the same star. It's the same star, mm. but look, it cuts the U.S. in half. Yeah, it's regional. Pretty much between what? Louisiana, Missouri, or whatever. What it's those? the Louisiana Purchase is Carl's yeah, Jr. Yeah, what are the green yeah. ones? They don't have anything? Is that nothing? I think yeah. they're swing states. <laughs> those, 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 are, those are your swing states? <laughs> yeah. This hey, is a riveting conversation. <laughs> oh, jeez. Not that one? You didn't oh, okay. want the Sweet Caroline? <laughs> so. It's like Brains right, and Mills so. Farm and Fleet. Or Fleet and Farm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys come with questions I wasn't ready for. Well, this is how this goes. I mean, we I always hit you with questions you don't you aren't ready for. Uh both brands have been around for a long time, both had dedicated fans and personalities. So I guess there is a rivalry. <laughs> like a like a <laughs> Sharks Jets knife fight. Yeah. Sounds like we need to go get one from each and like do a, a burger side by from side. each. Yeah. Road Ooh. trip. Uh the difference is that Carl's Jr. serves green burritos and Hardy serves red burritos. <laughs> That's the what? only difference. Carl serves salads. Okay. So what does Hardy serve? Salads? Is this oh. like the left Twix, right Twix? <laughs> <laughs> like... There's different packages. Tune in next month when Molly tells another joke. Shut up. <laughs> Very good, Molly. You're well, an ass. Tom only allows her one joke a, a month. Uh, they're pretty much they're they're calling them siblings is what they're basically like you and your brother are different me and my brother are different but we come from the same nut sack <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the comparison there you go so how is your brother doing by the way i have no idea we don't talk <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah, moving on keep her moving yeah Fuck. all right jeff i'm worried about your beard why are you worried is it is this the that it carries more germs one Yep. Oh, did I just wreck your segue? No. I saw that. Okay, good, because I'm. that's kind of what I like to do anyways. You know that. Uh, beards are, are dirtier than dogs? I f- how? Well, it's, science, it, man. They s- tested fuck, it. This is bullshit. <laughs> science is bullshit. Oh, okay. My phone carries more fecal matter than my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's science, I guess, too. Fuck. Beards covering men's faces high, have... S- significantly higher amounts of bacteria than found on dogs. You uh, have a beard and a dog. I wash my beard more than I wash my dog. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean... Maybe it's just a general, like, the so majority be- of... Because I, you want to look like a young Santa, we have to worry about you taking over with the microbe that's going to kill uh, us all. Can we get I one of those test better kits than young Santa. and test <laughs> yeah, Jeff's beard? Yeah, let's test my beard. Let's see how clean this fucker <laughs> better is. Better than young Santa. <laughs> that should be on your Tinder profile. <laughs> if I had a Tinder profile, I'd <laughs> yeah. probably put it on there. If better you're... looking than young Santa. Everybody if... was swiping right for that. <laughs> <laughs> that was left. Do you think... Uh, if you oh, shaved, star, star Wars. if you shaved your beard, you would look like I'd a, look like a fat fucking two year old. You'd look like an adult <laughs> cherub, like, <laughs> just, <laughs> just a cherub. Yeah, and w- coming out of winter with your tan, you would you could pose as a cherub statue the whole time. No, I, I honestly, I think the last time I didn't have facial hair, it's been a while. Uh, it's been, I'm gonna say like two thousand ish, two thousand three, maybe. That makes sense. I've never seen you without facial hair. And I've had a beard for probably the last 10 years. Probably. So, yeah. All right. Well, dogs' samples are only partially unhygienic. I was going to say, wasn't it a myth that dogs' mouths are, like, dirty? I thought. Or clean. Clean, clean, yeah. Yeah. Dogs roll around in shit. I don't roll my beard around in shit. Well. (laughs) (laughs) Did you just say, well... (laughs) Except for Tuesdays. <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, Tuesdays. Jeez. No. Uh, yeah, you you got significantly more microbes on that thing. You're just harboring it. It's growing. On this thigh warmer? The uh. end of man. This is not. <laughs> I mean, it's glorious, but... That's all right. I clean it. Groom it. Comb it. <laughs> it's saying dogs are no risk to humans if they use... Neither is my beard. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not... My beard stops, like, this beard is actually on my face for protection. From what? Hockey sticks. Pucks. Yeah. It stops them. <laughs> they bounce off. Since yeah. I've had a beard, I have significantly less 
facial. The first time I saw Jeff play hockey, he skated on the ice, and some guy did a slap shot, hit him right in the face. He fell down <laughs> and then skated off the ice. See? That didn't, was the rest. He was done for the rest of the game. Didn't, didn't have a beard, did I? No, you didn't. See? The <laughs> last time I got hit in the face. I'm like, holy shit, Jeff waited all day to come do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably sat on the bench quite a bit, too. Hey, yeah. nothing wrong with sitting on the bench. No, no, no. Andy, uh, we, we got it. Holding it down. What do you guys do? What positions? Andy plays D. Yeah. And I, uh, my bench, do grocery stick? Yeah, you're yeah. grocery stick. What's grocery stick? Oh, I separate the forwards from the defense on the bench so you oh. know where that starts. Yeah. <laughs> like a grocery okay. stick when you're putting it up there for, you know. Oh, I'm, yeah, you know yeah, that thing? Separate the groceries. Separate the groceries. Right. <laughs> we'll give you that. God, not funny when I got to explain shit, Tom. <laughs> well, sorry. You just said you're a grocery stick and I didn't. I needed something. I'm just. I'm going through everybody that's like posting now and watching. Okay. We got Polly Morris. We got Hanky. Oh, Hanky's watching. <laughs> All right. That's uh, from another state. That right is from there? another state. North Dakota. I love that guy. Love that guy. Here is a story I need your guys' opinion on, and I think I'm going to definitely need Molly's opinion on this. Oh no. Um, AMC movie theaters uh, kicked a disabled a mother and a disabled son out of a movie. The the son had, he was on the spectrum some sort of, but he was making a lot of noise and they were getting complaints that something, some, like they sounded like a baby crying, but it wasn't sure. a baby. So did people not just throw Sour Patch Kids at him until he shut up? Wait, that's what we did last time. <laughs> <laughs> but not the red ones. Not the red ones. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. um, <laughs> so you, like, You've got a comment to field, Jeff. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay. Well, I don't do cocaine. <laughs> Never touch the stuff. Okay. <laughs> Something wrong with a little booger sugar? Oh, jeez. So this three-year-old uh, has a rare form of dwarf- dwarfism. Sucks. Needs to be in a wheelchair. Jeez. Oh, we're getting ripped. Yeah. This show sucks. <laughs> I don't see any cocaine. Where are the rails? Where are the rails? <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're behind the camera. You can't see them. Yeah. So just this kid kidding, gets. But... Sorry. We'll get back to it. No, go ahead. This I'm... kid gets really excited, starts making sounds during the movie. And this mother is thrown a fit because she's never been kicked out of anything in her life. And they kicked her and her son out. So do you think the movie theater was in the right? <laughs> now, before you answer, Molly, you have a disabled sister who was loud in movie theaters at she times, can too. Be. Yeah. So, what is your family's protocol for taking her to movies and stuff? It's it's tough. I mean, most of the time they can get her <laughs> to just be quiet because we'll take her to movies that she really enjoys, and she will just laugh, and she she's loud. Mm-hmm. You know. But, you know, there have been times that we've we've taken her, you know, outside for a little bit, calm her down and bring her back in or, okay. you know, just talk to her. And she, I mean, she understands. The, this, this she, lady. she understands the difference. But when she was younger, it, 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 it was difficult. And that's a hard situation because you had other people that are paying to see the movie. So AMC offers a sensory friendly viewing every second and fourth Saturday where they keep the lights up. And they have all the special needs people come in, and they don't care about sounds and noises, too. And they were offering them a free showing of that. But this mother is being a little finicky and didn't want to take that and is making a big stink about this. Um, well, I don't know. You're, you're offering an alternative. You don't take it. I mean, I get it. She shouldn't be bitching. <laughs> Literally, she knows her kid. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, we know your kid has issues. Whether whatever they be, I'm trying to be politically correct, but trying to, yeah, it's hard. It, it's hard to be politically correct with this. So I'm just because gonna, movies are very expensive, and you can't. Let's just let's just go with all due respect. Because I'm respect. The fuck, I want. Well, if, at three years old, you might not know that this person right. has. That's fine, but you're yeah. an you're an adult. You should know your kid's gonna have this out, uh, outburst, and well, yeah, if you can leave and come back, that's one thing. But if you're offered another option, like hey, we have this other option, we'll supply it for you free. Uh, sorry for the mix-up, you know, but you are ruining everyone else's experience. Fuck, I would throw gummy. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like 
it's it's tough because but it's just like having a baby and bringing it to the movies if if Who you're in a pub baby to the movies? Well, i mean people do sometimes <laughs> but if you're you in can't a public find a sitter, place fuck. and your baby starts crying you take it out until you know, and hold its head underwater. And <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> yeah. I mean, Jesus. Whatever. Look at you with your soundboard, <laughs> fucking fancy. <laughs> <laughs> we got a voice guy oh, now. We got a voice guy. <laughs> yeah, Tom's having way too much fun. <laughs> I don't know. It's that's like uh, Jesus. That's no. I gotta side with the movie theater. Yeah, sorry, I do too. Yeah, I think you have to because, I mean, they gave him a good alternative. To rectify the situation. So you can't be that upset with them. The movie theater didn't come out first. The movie theater doesn't care what happens. It's when they get a complaint that Multiple the movie theater complaints. has to step in. Yeah. You have potentially a whole theater full of other people that have paid for their seats. I'd be pissed. Well, it was Dumbo, so probably two other people. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not that's like, a rip on Dumbo. It's, it's not like you're at the you Avengers wanna... and you're fucking talking through the whole goddamn thing when yeah. people are rife and, rifling oh, Sour Patch Ron. Kid. Uh-oh. What's up with Ron? He oh, says babies pretty. don't cry if you put them in a pillowcase. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they would still cry. <laughs> but it's muffled and you can deal with it. <laughs> that was, uh, is that Ron? That's Ron, Ron Purdy from the... Uh, yeah, yeah. From, his his yeah, new movie's coming out soon. Oh, let's pump Ron a little yeah, bit here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for sale showing. Uh, now I don't have the bar. It's May 4th. Uh, May 4th. I don't remember where it's at. It's in Racine. Ron, uh, help us out. Check out Ronco Productions. His viewing. It's his 40th birthday also. Oh, and you were actually in this one. Yeah. yeah we I was extras. in the movie. We were extras in the movie. And so. Gravy. Oh, Gravy was in it too? Ron. Yeah. Put in the comments uh, where your 40th birthday is. It's a Mick something Irish name bar. So. McAllison or something. Yeah, we were we spent like hours there, but I don't remember the name. <laughs> spent while there. McAuliffe's. Yeah. McAuliffe's maybe. So yeah, go check yeah. it out. Uh, for sale will be on May fourth. Uh, please, Ron. No Star Wars jokes allowed at the at the showing. <laughs> well, I'm br- I'm wearing my Star Wars shirt. No Star Wars stuff. Come on. McAuliffe's we're... on the square. McAuliffe's on the square. Okay, just no Star Wars May fourth jokes. Come on. <laughs> May the fourth be with yeah. you, Joe. It's, it's old now. It was cute when the first guy figured it out, and now it's just too much. Goodwill has a whole Star Wars section right up front with all their Star Wars stuff for, just... for May the fourth. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Let's get back to this baby crying. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the creepiest fucking laugh. Uh, you know, like, there is such a thing as using this on board too much. <laughs> come on. I haven't hit that yet. Yeah. When you buy a voice guy. <laughs> Tom hit it real big in the Mars Madness. Ron's not going to make any Star and Wars voice jokes. Guy. Don't no worry. No Star Wars jokes. All right, great. So, we're going to we're going to side with the We're going to side with the movie theater on this one and uh no tell your parents when your kids are will your dwarf retarded son the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> Please they've heard me called retards. Tom. Tom. Oh fine, we'll give you a one of them. Oh that's Hey, AMC that's said it, not me. Well, is that what they said? Did no, they... they okay. They didn't know what to give her. She wouldn't take anything that they offered, so this she's just going. She's so she gets nothing? What what do they what does she want? The to own uh, yeah, theater, like, that's what I'm asking. What, what did, what did, what did she want? Popcorn, soda, or a free what movie? Did, what did she want? Like that wouldn't does it tell her what what would have satisfied her to where she wouldn't be? She bitching? didn't want it to happen again. The next day, she turned to Facebook to tell her story. So the post what, began to go viral. What the fuck version of your story is different from what the movie theater said? She felt she was being discriminated against. Uh, no. Why? Because you're the only one in that. Brought it's your crying, crying kid to the goddamn movies? Yeah. Well, I did say with all the respect, universe, so I can, again, say whatever the I mean, fuck I want. I feel but... like you need to take it out of, you know, no, just people disregard, need... no, disregard that this kid has special needs and just think if you had anyone making noise in a movie theater, you would expect them to get kicked out. Right. Just like anybody else. Be Especially accountable when they for offer your you actions. a, you can make as much noise as you want movie section. Right. So we gave you an alternative. You still want to be a bitch about it. Honestly, they're not discriminating against her by right. kicking her out. They would have done that to anyone making noise. Right. They would have been discriminating against her for letting oh. her stay. <laughs> you can stay. Everyone else go. The... Everyone else can go? No. no. Your, your son's got to go. <laughs> the mom can stay, right? Yeah, I She guess. wasn't being loud. 
Right. Somebody's, okay, Tom. Somebody. <laughs> well, that's right. I mean, that's how you don't discriminate. <laughs> like the, if, the loud one has to go. If Jeff would have got busted for throwing the thing, I'd have stayed. I'm not leaving with him. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I would have pointed to Molly. She threw it. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> See, Molly, but didn't you drive? Molly was the one that drove, I thought. Where? To the oh, movies when oh, we went. Maybe. Maybe. I don't remember. All right. Pig brains come back to life. Zombie pig brains? Uh, are they zombies or are they... It's kind of weird. So, these experts have... They they took dead pigs. And what they did was they separated them in half. They gave half the brains... Engelbert says hi. A... You want to say hi to Engelberg? They gave half the brains <laughs> a placebo Reagan brain Tom. solution. <laughs> And another brain, <clears throat> this super, I don't know, super serum? super America serum to the brain. What was in it? Is that in there? Uh, they're not telling us. Well, of course not. Uh, a patented life support solution. Why are and they? Others were given a control substance, so bush light. What? <laughs> we gave you bush light in your brain. Hey, the lattes will keep a lot of people alive. Uh, yeah. So they found out this this. Artificial blood has basic cell function restored in the pig brains. So these dead pigs, they weren't necessarily alive, but they weren't dead also. So medically, what are we trying to use this for? Uh, if somebody has like a stroke or loss of oxygen or okay. something, we can keep them alive longer. Like I'm all for it. Sure. What the hell? Advancements in modern science. But, you know, we're going to take this solution and start pumping it into Walt Disney's head. Yeah. He's already frozen, planning on coming back anyways. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just his head, I think, right? Uh, Ted Williams, too. Ted yep. Williams? John wants you to say hi to him. Okay. His phone's dying. Bye, John. Hey. Oh. <laughs> coach? <laughs> John Engelbert? Yeah. Yeah, that's Coach. It's Coach? Yeah. All right, so the... The brains that received the bush light <laughs> turned into something like yogurt. So they just. <laughs> it's so yo bush light turns your brain to yogurt. It wasn't bush light. It was just probably water. Or bush light's going to call us and give us a cease and desist letter. But they, they found out that cell death in the brain occurs over a longer period of time, which adds questions of when you are pronounced dead, how much are you still feeling seeing how much is working up there don't they say it's like five sec it's like seconds isn't it something like that no this is six hours you like six have... hours your brain still functioning firing, firing. Yeah. yeah really yeah well you're the doctor Fuck so <laughs> that's that's why i don't want to be cremated what if it's we just it's still you can still feel you're still alive. They're not going to cremate you six hours after you fucking pass. Yeah, that's, What's a, the that's a shotgun hurry? cremation. <laughs> that's a Let's shotgun get it over with. Jeff died. Okay, come on. Fucking burn him. Fucking burn him. Burn that beard. <laughs> get that beard <laughs> out of here. No, this, it took me a while to get this the way I want it. <laughs> you wanted it with the gray in there? And yeah. <laughs> it, it made, it, you know. All right. Gray hair is like... So what do you Makes think you smarter, about uh, you know? keeping brains alive, even in animals and stuff? They had, uh, if they felt there was significant brain activity, they had uh, basically anesthetic for the pigs. If the pigs came back to life, they were like ready to shoot them. <laughs> they didn't know what was going <laughs> to happen. If these... We reanimated some pigs. Yeah, they, that was a possibility. This is pretty much how like every zombie movie's ever started is. That's People. the problem I have with scientists, because when they uh, set off the first atom bomb, they didn't know if it was going to cause a chain reaction and blow up the entire universe. Fuck it, we'll They try said it. that's like a 1% chance. But on a 1% chance, if you design 100 experiments that could destroy the universe, <laughs> you're going to hit it on one of them. <laughs> Ron says zombie pigs. There goes my next movie. <laughs> yeah, Frankenswine. <laughs> Do I get one? Yeah, you go. I'll yeah. give you one. I'll you give, give you yourself one. one. I just gave it to him, <laughs> Molly. It's fine. Okay. Um, so. I don't know. That would be, I don't know, advancements in modern science? Yeah, you could always do some sort of fucked up There's shit. There's always or... going to be some fucking scientist that's like, I'm going to take this to the next level. Yeah. I'll see what else we can do. It'd Jurassic. be nice for a lot of people, but 
somebody will fuck it up and try to do it with something. Well, but... what they backhandedly said in this thing is they didn't know if these pigs were going to just be alive again. And do pig stuff? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Would you eat a pig that if was you know it was dead, reanimated, <laughs> and then How dead again? How long was it dead? Is it going to turn me? Is it going to die again? Like... No, it, you're going to l- just cut off what you wanted the pig and let it live. <laughs> what do you mean, is it going to die again? Well, you're I mean, eating it now. Now it's dead again. But if you can reanimate <laughs> is it. Is it going to come back to life inside of me? <laughs> it's, it, it's like, yeah, is it right? I'm reanimating it. I and, you know, have eaten pig brain. Wait, so you these have, You've eaten pig brain. Yeah. These pigs Why? have been modified because for fun. For fun, they, for he funsy? Ate a, he ate a pig's eyeball, too. For funsies, I've eaten pig brain. What the fuck? You never been to a pig roast? Yeah? Okay. What do you do with the head? I don't eat you it. You freak out the girls. <laughs> Chop an eyeball. <laughs> my aunt was carving the pig, and Tom dared my brother to eat an eyeball, so they each ate one. Yeah, there you go. Huh. Yep. How Very it, juicy. Pig eye is juicy? What's it taste like? Tell me chicken. Not <laughs> much. Not much? The brain didn't taste like much either. It was weird. It was gross because it was still warm. What if you have some kind of disease now? What if that pig had diseases? That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. So, I guess uh, they're trying to look at what is keeping this alive and if there's a way to reverse <laughs> stroke damage. <laughs> Fucking Ron. <laughs> you got to let everybody know what's going oh, on. Oh, uh, Ron said, I'll only trust reanimated <laughs> zombie pigs if Jeff <laughs> comes, does it. Okay. Oh, Combs, oh, Jesus. That's, uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is, why would you want to reanimate a pig? I don't Because they don't let you just start on people. Yeah. All right. Why? We need 20 people. They got to be dead. <laughs> so let's kill them first. Just fucking hang out in the nursing home. Fuck. Yeah. That's, I mean, you get a lot of old here, people in the cadaver lab here. Sign this waiver. Why would be, we be experimenting with this in the first place? Again, to reverse stroke, uh, brain damage, lack uh, of oxygen. Uh, yeah, still, I yeah, like. I get trying it, but uh, if you have somebody, don't mess with the brain. Like that's f- how we get zombies. Friend of the show, has, <laughs> zombies are gonna happen. Well, if you can reverse the, I guess, cell uh, degradation or whatever, that just goes into reverse aging, fountain of youth, stem cells. So sure, because that's what we need right now. More reverse people. aging. Yeah, more people living longer. Because we're not overpopulated enough as is it, it is. Ooh. <laughs> Molly's bringing up. Ooh. Ooh. Is that Tom? What you gotta do? <laughs> <laughs> he just likes playing with that goddamn yeah, soundboard. Right. I just I just mean if people were living like forever. Ex- forever. I'm not saying like not elves. Curing, you like can only the, die in battle. Yeah. Hmm. We would need like another realm. <laughs> well, that'll work. Speaking of another realm, right, this one's gonna pigs. this one's gonna piss Molly off here. Oh no! Uh, Microsoft's new Xbox doesn't use any discs. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seems logical now that your computer doesn't even come with a CD drive. They're killing GameStop. There you go. That's where oh. we were going. She was just ranting to me about this. Really? Molly rants like what? I do. Yeah. Just kind of off of. Just you should hear her swear in the morning. Every time she wakes up, she's so pissed when she wakes up. I'm I'm not a morning person. No, no. But she was going off about this because GameStop stock dropped. It plummeted. They just closed the one in Hartford. Okay. Well, uh, kids let's... are buying all their games digital now. Yeah. Sure. I want a physical disc. I'm Why? About go- so you can deal with the scratches and having to blow in the cartridge and <laughs> no. fucking because it's mine and I can take it. I can if take you don't it over pay, to my friend's it's house. It's yours on get... digital stuff. Not if you stop paying the PlayStation fee. Oh really? I That's... paid for it. When I'm done playing it, I can give it to someone else, or, or I can sell, sell it. it back to GameStop, or trade it for something. It else. has zero value. So what is what digital? digital? Yeah. So this one. The only advantage of going digital is they're saying you can download a game before it comes out and it'll be ready to play at midnight when you can on do release that now. day. Gives a shit. But who cares? But no, when you buy a physical disc, you have to go home. Like, I hate that on Christmas morning, my nephew will be like, cool, I got this new game. Not me, my nephew. And then I'll put it in and it's like two hour load time. 
I'm like, fuck, I can't even. Or setting up a new PlayStation. When we got our like Sega or something, you it was plugged just it in. plugged it in, turn it on, boom. Put the cartridge in. Yeah. We're there playing. you go. Yeah, and it might be a little bit of a nostalgia for me too, which is not wanting the GameStops to go away and wanting to have my physical copy. But I do enjoy buying the cheap discs because you can't get to all the games. So there's right. a lot of good games that you may have missed two years ago that are now ten bucks. Right, you like wait for someone else to trade it in, and you can buy it used for cheaper. Sure. They if, don't if give they you all shit go to digital, them. you're stuck waiting on the Xbox Store to dictate what prices they're going to be because they have all the power. You can't go buy a copy on When eBay. Sony was you hacked, can't. a lot of people lost all their games, and Jen lost all their games, and they couldn't keep track of what was there on her account, and she didn't get them back. They offered her some credits or whatever, but... That's all they did? Yeah. Sorry, sorry about your... You can read down you lost whatever you, you had. Here's some money. Yeah. But I guess I, I, I still don't play enough games, so I'm still on like... Do you I'm, buy DVDs? Movies? No. No. Okay. You Not anymore. Like, like the only reason I have DVDs is for bu- <clears throat> the bus trips. Yeah. I haven't bought new DVDs in forever. We okay. do Redbox for pretty much everything. And the only Netflix. the only thing is, is like DVDs are like older movies that I can't find on like Blu-ray or something. Okay, but those are gonna all be gone. gone. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I didn't think about it because I'm thinking of it uh, via like the actual devices. Like I'm surprised that the gaming consoles haven't switched over to that yet because all new laptops don't have cd drives so i I, i'm just looking at it that way you're like oh yeah why wouldn't you why would you have a game console that has discs anymore like everything is you're purchasing all your software now via the internet download you know you're you're just uploading it from some server so it, I kind of thought that the gaming consoles went that sure. way, but I didn't think about that whole aspect of like, yeah, the secondary market of like trading your old games in and being able to buy them some on eBay. Yeah, and it's buying gone. things chir- cheaper after they're older. Well, when Jeff yeah. and I were kids, we yeah. borrowed Nintendo games constantly. back and, back and yeah. forth. Yeah, yeah. Here, let me borrow this. You can borrow this. Yeah. Well, then we played each other's games. Now yeah. it would be, what's your account number? I gotta hack my. Right. Yeah. Put it in on my Xbox pass. And that I bet that does hit them. I I would bet that people do like to play games like to swap games and stuff yeah. like that. You know, like you always hear the hot game that everybody's playing mm-hmm. that you're like if it's like an online game where you have to have a bunch of people to play it. Like yeah. Fortnite. Yeah, something like that. Where like if if nobody Call was playing it, you can't play it. But if it's like a whatever, One like a campaign g- kind of style game, you would enjoy to play it after it's already you know been out for a while, or you know mm-hmm. to play it on like a secondary market or yeah, yeah. one player game, yeah. yeah, yeah, couch co-op or something. But mm-hmm. they're getting rid of those too, where you mm-hmm. can't just sit down and play split screen. Molly and I have to go into separate rooms with our Xbox and buy two versions of the game. So we can play together now. Well, now if yeah. you got this way, you can download two versions of the game for double yeah, the price. You still have to pay yeah. oh, you for two to, yeah. games. That's yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's Fine. I get it. So what do you what do you think about this? Where's this going? Um, Why are young people okay with this? Because they're fucking lazy. Jeff, give me a millennial rant. You, Why do, they, <laughs> do you want the millennial <laughs> rant? <laughs> yeah. Um. Lazy and entitled. I don't know. I How- mean. I wonder what what's the population of games coming out that are, have like a strong single player like. Okay, it was Fallout that went away, huh. um, but there are certain games. But every game tends to add like the old single player games, like Doom has a arcade online following. Yeah, and I I, I feel like that's Titanfall only has online. It doesn't even have you know stuff like that. I think that's where all those games are going. Uh, because they're chasing the market. They're chasing that huge online multiplayer right. style and getting away from, you know, the that in-depth, like, storyline kind of single-player model. Okay, how about this? The Xbox only comes with a terabyte. Every game you download is 100 gigabytes. Okay, I don't math. Okay, so you get ten games. You I can don't put on here math in gigabyte or terabyte. You so. get ten games you All can right. install on there. That's it. 
and then you have to delete them and then re-download them? They're, they're available for you re-download. Send them to the cloud. Can the you cloud do, can you barely do that? stores anything, but yeah, they do well, have... you can buy up. the extra storage in the cloud. Okay, so spend it's more like, money. Yeah, yeah, spend more money. It's all a big marketing ploy. Or you can buy external hard drives. Right. Like, they really are cornering the market if it's all digital downloads. For sure. Because there's no other place for well, people to go and get everyone, the you got to think, eventually DVDs are going to be obsolete. Eventually mm. all that shit's going to be gone. <laughs> like the... And then everything in the game is microtransactions lately, too. So yeah. Bitching yeah. about games. Yeah. They nickel and dime you here, add on. Right. Add on and here. Upload account here. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm Bring a little back upset. Mixtapes. I'm a little upset about this going digital. I like uh, having. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? You know, fucking not buy video games? Are no. The, are the other two? There's Nintendo and PlayStation. PlayStation not, I didn't look into what PlayStation is doing. This is still the PlayStation just announced PlayStation 5. I haven't taken a look at that. At <laughs> least Microsoft lets you keep games once you stop paying for it. Once you stop paying for Microsoft. If you get free monthly games or whatever, you keep them. Yeah. But PlayStation doesn't. PlayStation says when you're done giving us 19.99 a month, we have your games. Yeah, all those games that you downloaded. Well, you when you pay the 19.99, we'll let you go into your library. Yeah. Now that shit. So yeah. this is if you want this game for the rest of your life, you're giving us money, or it's not your game anymore. See now this this creates the issue of we can still plug in a Sega. Well, with like our old going games. back right, like going back to Nintendo now just released their classic which had x amount of games on it for guys like me that's nostalgia that we grew up playing regular nintendo you're not gonna be able to do that i mean can you still do that on like say you want to play an old xbox game are you able to download that that's what i was gonna say too because you can't put an old but you still have your old xbox you still have you know you have to keep two systems okay you have to put full faith that Microsoft or Sony is not going to take a shit, go bankrupt, and shut down their whole system when all your shit is just deleted, gone, because the company closed. Yeah. How do I know you're you're going to be here forever? It's Sega went out of business. I still have a Sega Genesis, and I can plug it in, and boom, play my game. It's still physically mine. I want to borrow that. I, wanna... I got the uh, got EverDrive, s- so I have every Sega game in a cartridge with the old controllers. But you know what? I still have that. And we can still play it. 20 years from now, if PlayStation is gone, yeah. you're done. Your games, all the money you spend is just gone. <laughs> We're going to have a zombie ate my neighbor's that fucking reminds, game. We got the old Mutant League football. I love that. Bones it's Jackson? It's awesome. But they just <laughs> re, they just did a new one. And it sucks. That's got like really? current characters. like name, yeah, The, the yeah. monsters are named after current players. Oh. And it's it's not the same. I mean, it's similar. but Yeah, you got to go back to the old sucks. Bones Jackson. Um, but on that note, Ron says the PS5 is going to be reverse compatible finally. For all of them, I heard. Okay. For which well, that's is a positive. Because then you're not stuck hanging on to all your old ones yeah. to play your old PlayStation games. That's dumb. I don't know. Everything's going digital anyways. So if PS- I mean, that's just the way of the world. There's not much you can... If PS5 is going to be reverse Looks compatible, like me. that means it's going to have a disc slot. Yeah. yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's the only way to have it right reverse compatible, and it doesn't take that much actual space in that console just to have a CD drive or sure. you know a, the drive to to read the disc. Yeah, Microsoft is just being dicks. <laughs> yeah, how are we doing there, Molly? You're having some frantic issues. Uh, my to... my charger brick isn't working, so I'm plugging into my computer or my phone. We're good. I got one over here. Now, what else you got here? We're good. All right. Rob Gronkowski <laughs> dented oh, the Super Bowl trophy. Eh. Uh, Andy what knows how. How did you? I don't, I don't know how he did it. Uh, he <laughs> swung it like a baseball bat and hit a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him oh, that, that guy parties. I don't know how he got in that situation, but literally he laid down a bunt with the actual trophy. Mm. Like, was he in like I brought it to a charity softball game? He's like, there check this shit out. He's taunting Edelman. Uh, you want a little sound here? I can probably give you sound. No, I just want to. Okay, here it comes. Oh, 
Edelman threw it and <laughs> he lays down yeah. a bunt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's be honest, that is a textbook bunt. <laughs> so was it really Gronk's fault or was it Edelman's? Was he Gronk uh, grabbed it and wanted Edelman to pitch it, so it's a combo. Yeah, it's both mm. of their fault. I mean worse stuff That's is a- worse things have happened to other ch- sports. Um, yeah. There it is. It's in the trophy case with, with that, the. That's with the big <laughs> that's fucking awesome. I think they should not fix, fix it. it. No, I, I think they should think... leave it like that, and that'll be way, way more Gronk's memorable. Legacy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what you get when you get a guy like Gronk. I can totally see. It. I mean, that's just... dude. Uh, you get everything. You mean a guy who likes the party? Yeah. 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 Well, he can do something stupid like use the Lombardi Trophy as a baseball <laughs> bat and lay down a bunt. But he can also, on third and goal, catch everything over the middle. Okay, so you get it all. Do I think it's right? No, he should not because it's kind of disrespectful, I think, to the trophy. But on the flip side of it, I mean, I've seen... Because they were playing baseball or what? Well, should he have... Try not to damage it. Try to make a 30-yard field goal with it? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe. Would it have been better if he had kicked it or done like a spike? Spiked it. Uh, Actually, I think spike it would have been way cooler. But, uh, I, I mean, I guess shit happens when you party hard. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Who let Gronk have the trophy <laughs> yeah. in his hands? In the Where, who place? was watching him? <laughs> yes. Okay, so flip this from, if this is the only thing that you Gronk have for the Lombardi trophy. theater every second Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> or Saturday. <laughs> if this is the one. only, the worst thing, because the, they make those individually, right? Every team. Yeah. Gets one every year. It's not like it's the Stanley Cup where well, there he is. Well, there's yeah, one the case of the Stanley Cup where there's one cup, and all you change out is the cylinders, basically. Okay. So the Stanley Cup has more shit that's happened to it. Yeah. That is worse than that. Okay. It's, it's been dented, oh. carved up. It's been thrown in a canal in Montreal, I think, and sat there for a day or two or something like that. It made it in the bottom of. The uh, Lemieux's pool. Yeah, somebody took it in there with him. Went swimming with it. Yeah. Well, somebody pushed the guy. That Whatever. Had the cup. And <laughs> Phil Kessel mowing hot dogs out of it. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, it. If this is the worst thing that's happened to a Lombardi Trophy, because you know, I don't know, could be worse. And they. That's the thing. They make so many of those. Right. Granted, I bet. I think there's something they said the whatever the FIFA trophy is worth the most because it's actual gold. And then the Stanley Cup is worth the second most because it's, there's only one of them, right? Minus the one that's in the there's Hall of a, Fame. Yeah, there. Well, there's well, there's there three of them or something like that. There's, there's a replica. Two. There's the replica and the presentation one. Yeah, and then but the Lombardi Trophy. They they make those every year. Yeah, they, it's just they have a bunch of duplicates. Sure. I, well, you still only get one. You can't go grab one. You got to earn it. Well, right. I understand yeah, about I'm, earning it, but yeah. like but they can make a. You know, it's not like a a one. Yeah. A one-off thing. It's not like a... Right. Hey, so you got one with a dent in it. I would put like a little <laughs> asterisk by the, on the nameplate that says, by the way, funny story, this one's got a dent because Gronk. Gronk, yeah. concaus- Gronk thought it was cool to bunt with this fucking thing. Well, they definitely need a, a plate. In front of it, yeah. Well, it'll just be like 10 years down the road. Some kid will be like, why is that one dented? Funny story. Yeah. Funny story. <laughs> we had this guy named Gronk. Let me tell you about him. He's got a party cruise ship <laughs> that he runs now. Is that what he's doing? Well, you could yeah. do that while he was playing. Oh, okay. Yeah. You could go on the Grant Cruise. On the Grant Cruise? And he'd be there? Yeah. He partied every night at the Grant Cruise. I'm sure he parties because he, well, he's living off his endorsements now, ain't he? He's never spent a dime of what he made in the NFL. Really? really? Yeah. He's not an idiot. No, he's not. Well, let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, they were telling a story how he was with Trey Wingo, the guy from ESPN, in a bar, and he's like, hey, you want to do a shot? And he's brought in his own vodka. He's like, I'm not yeah. buying this stuff here. He comes off as kind of a big, big dumb goofball, but... Uh... That's what he is. Yeah. Here's the Gronk cruise. Gronk's party cruise. I mean, I think I'd like to party with him for a night. See where that fucking goes. At one point during the cruise, he offered a couple ten thousand dollars cash to bang in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what guy likes to party? He does. Oh boy, they got it on camera. Him offering people ten grand. <laughs> bang in front. Wow, 
Okay, they didn't do it, but that's everybody. Holy shit. Ah, uh, he was trying to be. He brought Flo Rida with him on the cruise. My ma <laughs> wants me to go on the Grand Cruise with her. Your, your mom's <laughs> going on the Grand Cruise? I'm like, oh, ma, it's 10 grand. Grog's <laughs> yeah. oh. good for it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, uh, yeah. So, all right. Here's a little quick shit before we wrap it up here. All right. Las Vegas School Board trustee apologizes after referring to a group of students as colored. What are you supposed to call them? Students? Racist? Yeah. Just students. Well, it's kind of funny that the NAACP is mad when they are the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, and now you can't call people colored. Yeah. Like, I think it'd be weird. more that's... racist if you said, hey, those black students over there. Well, I... I mean, I what do you... Soon you're just taking away words those they have to replace Those ethnically diverse students that are over there. Mm-hmm. Well... Acceptable medical words like yep. the R word retard I said earlier. Retard. Uh, that yeah. says like right on your birth certificate, this is mental retardation. And now it's like, okay, it was a medical word. Now it's a bad word because everybody used it. I want you to use this word. Well, now what is, what we've is used new- that for a while. Uh, it used to be special. Now you can't say special. Uh, mentally disabled, uh, challenge, need, special needs. It, it just keeps going. To where, uh, same thing with calling people, that you used to be able to call mixed race, then mulatto, and you can't say any of that anymore. You just say, you know, it, you just start where you ban one word, people start using the next word to not use that word, and then that word gets banned. You Everybody's gotta gotten with so sensitive word. about certain <clears throat> everything. Like, I get certain aspects of it, but at one point, what point do you just fucking shut up so and you can say fucking something. deal with it? Yeah. Right. Molly, what word is preferred at your house? What? No. <laughs> okay. For what? Like mentally challenged or... Oh. I don't know. No. You don't know? You don't care. That's good. So let me ask you this, Molly. Do you get upset when people say like the word retard and stuff like that? Or retard to... depending on how they use it? It depends or... on how they're using it. If, if I call Jeff a fucking retard, are you upset? No. Okay. That's where people get upset. Right. Because I'm using it as a bad thing. But if they, you know, point at my sister and say, oh, look, she's See, now that's different. That's pointing out one. To me, that's pointing out one person. That's a different use of a word. Right. I mean, there's there's different ways to use it and different ways to, you know, meanings behind it. And it it just depends how you, I guess. They don't want, but what they're fighting is, like, if I call Jeff a fag. I'm making fun of him, so I'm making fun of people who are gay, oh, so I can't say fag. If I call Jeff retarded, it. I'm saying he's doing something. I can't say retard because it's using the word in a bad way. Gay people don't like the word fag, Tom. God. Well, I was talking about a cigarette in, Where are you? in Europe. In Europe. But you know what I'm saying? Right. They don't like that word, but uh, if I say something is gay and it was right. bad, you can't say it's that's gay anymore. Yeah. Andy, what are you... <laughs> it's, just, it's just like what the fuck did I walk into you're saying all the trigger words yeah, yeah of course like I'm super triggered <laughs> yeah I'm the biggest blockhead there is uh, <laughs> yeah it's a, that's tough I, I always kind of feel for I don't know it's a it's a tough thing because like in the locker room we call oh, yeah. people and say shit to like a, even like, on the on the bench when you're yeah and like and during the people. game but like I would never it's kind of weird. Like, we have a, a dude I played with at Concordia, or actually played the year after I graduated, but he's black. But I wouldn't like if I was like if I was like saying, "Hey, like this one guy is the one black guy." I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I would. I mean, if I had a, but if like you were an opposing team and you were trying to call him out, you'd be like, "Yeah, it's that the one black guy on their team." Yeah. So, like, but I wouldn't, I don't know how. Well, you'd say the same thing if there was, like, one ginger on the team. Yeah. You uh, know, yeah. You know, it's that, that ginger. It's yeah. a fucking ginger. It's yeah. soulless ginger over there, you know? It's, if, it's, if you're, it's, like, <laughs> I guess it is kind of. <laughs> Damn, Molly got two it, jokes. It's super, like, how you're using it, you know? Like. Yeah. 
and like the context of it. Yeah. And I th- feel like that's the hardest thing because like on one hand, we always in the locker room say shit in a style to to really make fun of each other about right. stuff. Mm-hmm. But then like in open, you would never be that like you would never use something offensively. Okay. You know, like right. I feel like even guys that even play in the G that are, you know, like you would never call like Todd an Asian slur. No. A because he's gonna kick the shit out of you. But B, like <laughs> you just don't do that. Like no. if you're in his room, you might say stuff like that right. to like be fun. Or, or, like or to, Domo or anything yeah, like that. I same thing with Dom's is yeah. a good good point. Like okay. I wouldn't say that about Domo. I mean But you wouldn't say it at him derogatory. Like, you know, it's like kind of one of those contexts. Here here's my thing. Things. If you're giving people shit and that's the one thing you gotta go on is their race. Then you're not thinking. You're yeah. not funny. You're not original. Original. Yeah. yeah. You're just a racist piece of shit that can't come up with anything better. But it's not like that we don't use kind of those derogatory words. You know, like, yeah, like but kind of whatever. Now, like the new trigger words or that right. stuff. Yeah, no. Because it's like you do throw them around and like fun with. Yeah, people. but I don't. Yeah, we but, don't use them in those. But you don't use it to be like seriously offensive to anybody. Right. So All I don't. Right. I'll that, let you guys go on that one. That was good. So happy news. Yeah, let's Reese's is freezing Easter egg shaped candy. And so I love diehard fans can have them in the summer. I don't care if the... it's a fucking egg or it's a goddamn cup. <laughs> there or are whatever. different the ratios. The eggs do have a different texture. Oh yeah, do I like really? the minis. Mm. It's a different chocolate to peanut butter ratio. Yeah, the way they shape it. I'm the more of a Reese's is... Pieces kind of guy. Like sometimes the, little... the peanut butter is creamy. Oh fuck too. you! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> the little pieces. I like the pieces. See, yeah, yeah fuck you. <laughs> Give me the the holiday little ones, and not the super. You look minis. more like a fucking Cadbury egg kind of guy. Like that fucking soft fruity center. He liked them. <laughs> I don't think it's they, fruity. Egg before before they like, changed them. They changed them now. Now it's like frosting oh. type oh. thing. It. When I was a kid, you used to crack them open and it was like a gooey. You just like that goo mm. running down your chin. Yeah. Your mom's texting me and she was watching. She knows that we're doing a live feed. Let me just text Molly real <laughs> What's quick. What's she doing? Tom's not answering his cell. Let me text Molly. <laughs> well, within 24 hours, two different college girls in two different locations fell off a cliff and died taking selfies. That's just... What? When are we going to realize selfies are dangerous? Yeah, that's now a Darwin theory right there. Well, guardrails around all of the natural well, cliffs. No, <laughs> no, no. The, what this... Is, I will agree with Andy. This is Darwinism at its best. Thinning yeah. out the fucking herd. Get rid of the retards. In the last six Sorry, years, I know. <laughs> Damn it. There you go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. There it went. I'd never say anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> Next. Oh, we're getting hate mail. All right. In the last six years, 250 plus people have died in selfie related deaths. That is insane. So I did (laughs) good. I did a quick search and I I tallied some numbers. Selfies are more dangerous than sharks, sharks, wolves, and lions combined. (laughs) They've killed more people. What about bears? I I think bears get a lot more. Okay. But I took sharks, wolves, and lions, added them together per year, and times it by six, and it was still less than selfies. Selfies have killed more people. Selfies have killed more people. Um, people Jesus. People are dumb. Yes. Well, you, hanging over a cliff that, you, you that takes just, a selfie. Yeah. Dude, I'm too want, afraid of heights. I can't get near the edge. I would down. I would definitely have someone else taking my picture for me. Or Yeah, but people like, have fallen off cliffs by doing that. Just back further. I can't fit you all in. <laughs> yeah. Just a few more steps back. Oh, well, no, shit. No, if you're the one by the, you know, and you're watching where you are and you've got someone else with the camera. Come on. You're the girl who just walked into a pine tree Pokemon Go plane. Oh, yeah. Did, did you do that? fucking. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Ow! Pokemon. You walked into. Uh, uh, I mean, I've walked into desks and stuff, but. Yeah. Wasn't I, playing Pokemon Go. So. I, uh, yeah. I don't know how to do that. It's yeah. fun. So selfies, selfies, yay nay. Just you know, they're like anything how, else. They're how many selfies? Like I know I took you. I took one at the twisted tree. I was like selfie, just because it's hilarious to me. But mm-hmm. but people falling off cliffs because of it. Um, 
Yeah. They want to take extreme selfie pictures. You know? Oh, yeah. Those idiots like on top of the... Look, it looks like I'm falling off the Grand Canyon. Looks yeah. like the guy that did the extreme... Uh, oh, yeah. We had a video it? of that. He was like hanging on these like extreme really selfies. tall buildings. And it wasn't selfies. He had a camera set up like somewhere else and just running. He'd do like 10 pull-ups off the top of the Empire State Building hanging over the side. And, yeah. and he died doing it. People would dare Good. him to do stuff. Good. Good. They would... Pay him. Fucking they would like, pay him to do all of these crazy stunts and film it, and he was doing one and filming it, and he lost his grip and fell and died, and it was on tape because he was filming it. Did he film all the way down? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I mean, was... he wasn't. No, he, wasn't no, he wasn't set up a camera. camera. He set oh, okay. it up off. And watched them that's doing not these pull-ups. That's and really then... not a selfie, then, is it? Let... Don't you have like hold it? Well, up? You can't do it's pull-ups. not a selfie. Yeah. Can't but do one arm pull ups? Real fucking man. He couldn't, couldn't do two arm pull ups. <laughs> okay. If, if, you, yeah. if you looked him up, though, he did take he did have a selfie stick on top of yeah. this real like tall spire, and he was taking selfies. First of all, if you have a selfie stick, you can take that and shove that up your ass. Yeah. Just I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. Oh, <laughs> swimming in the stocking. All right. Sigma Pi college student dies in hazing. Uh, the only info we got that it was hard alcohol related, and the frat. House is now banning hard alcohol from their house. Well, that's just silly. The Sigma Pi. Let's not ban hazing. Let's ban hard alcohol. Well, they're saying that the hazing is already banned. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh. All, no colleges let you haze anymore. Yeah. What type of hazing goes on with the bombers for the rookies? What can? They oh, do? we actually haven't done a lot of rookie, and we we don't call it hazing, Tom. Oh, that's a that's a bad term. Rookie yeah. initiations. Rookie initiations. Uh, does it involve Malort? Uh, yeah. No. Well, sometimes <laughs> it, it 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 used to be on the bus trip back before Andy was on back when we were uh, just starting out as a team. We used to do rookie initiations on the bus trip back from the UP. It's just a fancy way of saying saying hazing. Uh, I'm gonna. C- Call it what it is, Tom. It's rookie and then initiation. In a couple years, rookie initiation will be banned and you'll have to call it something new. Uh, there that was, was my point earlier. There was it. something called a up down or a chili willy, I believe it was, where you'd have the bottom of a beer can mm-hmm. filled with uh some kind of booze that you'd have to snort Ew. and then take take the beer and slam it. Yeah. Um That sounds really there, awful. Well, it was either that or a body shot off of this guy. <laughs> yeah. Pick the, your poison. I'll do the body shot off his snorting right. alcohol. But he's All running right. it through his beard. <laughs> <laughs> he says it's clean. I'll believe him. Yeah, see, there you go. Um, other than that, I don't think we really do too much hazing. I mean, there's the every so often you'll uh, kind of just you, you know, never duck, playing jokes on your on your buddies. Duct tape the rookie naked as you leave the locker room. Um, Everybody smacks there, his ass really hard. No, no, there was an incident where a rookie did lock himself in a bathroom for a few hours because stuff that was said and stuff on the whole bus trip up. But that was okay. That was uh, neither here nor there. It was funny shit though. All right, the last thing I got here today is McDonald's is I think they're finally getting the message. They're ditching all of their fancy burgers. And just adding bacon to them? No, they're getting rid of oh. them, and they're like doubling down uh, and sticking with the quarter pounder. And adding bacon. <laughs> you can add bacon to it. Mm, right. No, I want a quarter pounder. With bacon? I name it, Tom. With bacon? Well, I think it's um, a good idea because McDonald's needs to just be McDonald's. Yeah. Stop trying yeah. to be healthy. Stop trying to church it up. You're fucking McDonald's, all right? Stop trying to church it up. We all know it's a bad decision. I'm eating a fucking Big Mac and a pound of fries. Usually at 2 in yeah. the morning. There, there yeah. were some of those that I tried that I liked, but when you go to McDonald's, you want McDonald's. When was the last time you actually ate McDonald's and enjoyed it? Uh, I this haven't. This winter. We, we've been on the keto diet, but yeah, you, no McDonald's carbs. isn't keto friendly? No, no, you can't have carbs, yeah. man. You can eat no a fucking burger without the bun. I'm not going to have ketchup. patty. Okay. Now, ke- ketchup's not in your keto diet? You can get the it's sugar free. Sugar in it. Yeah. It's got sugar, dude. I guess I don't know enough about your guy. You don't look like you're big on the keto diet. <laughs> you just look like you're big. <laughs> That's the opposite of healthy. I just, yeah. I'm healthy. Fuck. I eat, I eat fruits and vegetables and and barley and hops. Yeah. Yep. And stuff. You'd be screwed in the keto diet. I I hate when they call a burger yeah. artisan. It's like yeah. artisan is like food. how a, a guy makes chairs. He makes a small quality of each yeah. individual chair, but then restaurants want to say, Subway's new artisan bread. Like, show it's, me the one guy it's who's making yeah. your mass-producing bread. bread. Yeah. 
it's not. Uh, no, I'd agree with you. McDonald's has to just be get back to the basics and yeah. quit trying to church it up. Be a bad decision. Yeah. Just realize, hey, yeah, we're we're not healthy. Be that drunk. We taste good. I think in the Taco morning. Bell's probably cornered the market of like they did knowing. that whole fresca thing though for a while. Did it? it failed. They oh. had the low cal tacos. Oh. I was just thinking like they did like that fourth meal like we're clearly your bad decision coming home from the <laughs> oh, bar that, that way too yeah like after you make that first bad decision of picking up that drunk girl yeah <laughs> you can hit up Taco Bell you're good I think I think McDonald's should double down and kind of just, just go steer themselves into that lane like oh yeah this is a bad decision we'll be open late and we'll be available uh, for oh uh, my your wife, wife is right my you wife out. just called me out on eating healthy. <laughs> Oh, there She's we go. She's calling bullshit. <laughs> this, uh, I eat healthy-ish. <laughs> I eat vegetables. Dude, vegetables. I never said, hang on, rewind the tape. I've never said I've eaten healthy. I said ish. <laughs> okay. I said I kind of do it. Oh, you're getting called <laughs> out. That's awesome. Oh, Klits- Klitsky's watching, that, too. We'll have to hit him up on the eating healthy stuff. Let's get on the Klitsky Well, diet. yeah. I got nothing left. We're good. We're wrapping this up. We're today. wrapping this up. I'm still putting my this on a boat. Wife called me out. <laughs> yeah. Rightfully so. Well, abs- good for abs- her. <laughs> In your defense, nobody believed you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at that guy sitting there drinking a beer. He eats. I healthy. eat fruit. Yeah. Uh, with alcohol. Look at that bearded cherub over there. Just <laughs> ah, claiming he doesn't know keto stuff. I, nope. <laughs> limited edition ice cream. I think the, the, yeah, oh yeah, I have. I did buy the small limited edition ice cream. <laughs> Why does impulse buy? <laughs> it's limited edition. It's not right. gonna be there. That's what I told her. She's like, "Why did you buy ice cream?" I was like, "Cause it's limited edition." <laughs> hey, we eat ice cream. That would be good in thirty years, man. We could sell it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gonna be gone, fucker. It's already yeah, it'll gone. Be gone in thirty minutes. <laughs> Do you even bother with a spoon, or you just bare hand it? <laughs> <laughs> Depends. <laughs> Yeah. All right, that's all I got for the regular episode. Andy, you sticking around for the bonus? He's sure. Gonna, he really doesn't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, all right, Jeff, where can they find us? Hey, if you're gonna uh, shop okay, on this clipboard here, shop <sighs> on Amazon. Please use our website off the rails tm.com. Just go to our website, click the link, shop like normal. They give us a kickback. It's beautiful. If you got any questions for old Uncle Tom, we're bringing back the Ask Tom anything. Yeah, we've been. You guys haven't been doing that in a little while, there, right? It was huge. And then People it died down, stuff. and then our show took off <laughs> when we stopped doing that. But when more people watch shows that we don't do it, it sure. just kind of fell off. We have to have people send them in, and then we can bring it back, and then everybody will go, oh, I have questions. But now, that was before we did our live feed where they could interact. Sure. So I think well, people can just interact. Now they can still send emails to offtherailstm at gmail.com, or you can find us at our website at offtherailstm.com. And our Instagram page at off the rails tm. dot com dot com. Uh, no, no, it's Instagram. It's uh, oh, yeah, Instagram. it's not. That's what I said. And you added dot com, so you're fucking me up on purpose. This go, is bullshit. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> it's the fucking button. Dick. It's good. <laughs> I got a pass. Wait. Oh, we're still on. Wait. Rails. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for sharing, Jeff. I love the yeah. I love the pause. <laughs> <laughs>